hi guys uh, welcome back to my tutorial uh, let's talk about uh, function uh, in python so every language definitely has a, a method or a function to you know optimize the code or to <coughs> club the certain portion of a code which is uh, entitled to perform certain step so we uh, we call it as a function so instead of you know writing the entire uh, code uh, <coughs> in one go we write it as a function so it increases the readability plus it is easy to understand and um, easy to correlate okay so let's uh, start it okay so uh, there are like uh, and today we will discuss uh, a basic function without any arguments okay we will create a simple function we will call it and we will return it and then uh, okay we will create a function with one argument we will pass a value and then we will we'll create a function we will pass a reference and then in this case we will see two examples ok fine so uh, we will create a I will demonstrate you like we will create a basic um, program ok so function let us call it a function example dot py ok so so uh, mostly um, the syntax of a function is almost the same in every language except uh, some particular uh, changes okay belonging to every uh, language okay so uh, let's call a function let's say <coughs> uh, okay so for structure of a function is it starts with a def define a function let's say uh, okay uh, something like list my list okay and then you have to give a colon and then only you can start whatever you want to do with the function so there should be an orientation and all the uh, all the lines all the statements in the function should have a, a same ident okay so let's say uh, print uh, print let's say uh, I we will call a list we'll, we'll just d define a list and then uh, we'll do we'll, we'll print it okay and a simple uh, simple as that okay this is my list and then we'll print the list okay fine that's that's all that that's all I mean, so and then we have uh, a return statement also so you this is optional you can uh, you can keep it you don't want you, can, you don't need to keep it so return nothing okay fine so now we'll call this function okay so this is my main method okay so okay now we'll call it so how do we call it just give the function name my list i think okay my list my list i'm calling this function okay without any parameters without any arguments okay so let's say uh, this is uh, uh, a function we have defined and we are calling this function no parameters nothing okay let's try to execute it okay okay what is it my list is not defined okay what is it saying fine so my list is not defined okay i have called it my list so exactly the same name is not there so that's why it is throwing the error okay so this is printing the list so what we have done simply we have created a function and we are calling it that's all this is my uh, function define my list and we are we have re we are returning nothing and we are calling that function fine we are good till now now we go ahead and we create a function with one argument okay let's say uh, instead of creating the list here i'll create the list outside list one i'll create the list one here sorry okay fine i created the list here and then we'll use this list and we'll pass this list so we, i'm passing the reference of the list list one to the function and then so you are passing one list here you are passing one parameter here so you have to give that here also and that can be anything it doesn't, doesn't matter you can give it any name but 
let's say list two or anything it doesn't matter so list one is uh, the reference to the list we have created outside the function and then we are passing the reference of the list one as a list one and it is going to the function so we are calling it list two doesn't matter so now we are printing the function so here you have to give the exact same name which is passed to the function so I am printing this function right ok so that's all uh, let's try to execute it ok this is doing the exactly the same thing right so what we have done we have uh, created a list outside the function which is containing 1 2 3 and then we are calling the function with that list as a reference it goes to the function and then you see the caller uh, uh, variable name and the the variable name in the function is different doesn't matter that those are the same reference and then we are printing that list okay this is okay fine now uh, let's go and do something extra with the reference right okay so now what we'll do is we have the list outside we are calling the list and it goes here now what if I, uh, I I change the list inside okay let's say so list one is currently having one two three what if I change the list okay I change the reference of the list uh, list two uh, zero one two let's go let's change something the, the zero one two value it's like, um, the value at the index two let's change it and make it uh, 45 and then we are trying to break let's say what is what is happening so when we know what we have done we have changed the value of the list 2 and we have modified it and we are trying to print let's see what is happening okay you see now the value is modified right yeah so it is printing the new value from the list so when we call the when it, when we call a function with a reference to it okay so and then we are changing the same reference okay the value of the same reference and then, then we are printing it so the value is changed inside the function and even if we go outside let's say if I, it, 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 print, it returns the list okay let's return the list and we get the list when we return something we can put it here like list 2 is equal to and then if we print this outside the function it will be what 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 should happen it will be the same list which is the previous was there or the changed one let's see so what we have done uh, we have uh, uh, created a list outside the function and then we are calling a, pro a function with that list as a reference and then we are uh, changing that list and we are creating a new value we are giving a new value to that list we are printing the list inside the function and then we are uh, returning the list which is reference list 2 and then we are, we are printing the list outside the function okay to see what is happening here i'll just give it uh, you know i'll just give it more readability so uh, value out the function right plus str let's convert it into string because it's a list so it will not accept and then here also same thing uh, value of list inside the function right okay So let's try to execute it. Okay, now see what is happening. Value of the list inside the function is also changed, and the value outside the function is also changed. So whenever you are calling a function with a reference to a value, and when you try to change the reference inside the function, the value is changed, and in also it will return the modified value to the caller. So the outside value of the function is also the new one, right? This is one thing you need to understand. Okay, let's do something else. What if I uh, I call the function and then I, I create a new reference, okay? So instead of modifying this list to, what I will do is I will uh, use the same reference. Okay, I will use the same reference 
and uh, so let's say list uh, 2 is equal to let's give it something else like 23 45 56 yeah so I created another list uh, another reference to the list using list 2 so value of list inside the function returning it's returning also and then we are going back and there we are printing now what should happen think about it so what we have done we have we have defined a list we are calling the list with that reference we are going inside the function we are the same reference we are assigning some new value so here a new reference to the list is created now we are trying to print it so we are printing the function value inside the function and then we are returning it and we are again printing the same outside the function so let's see what is happening okay so okay uh, yeah so now what is happening exactly let me see we need to understand this so when I call this one two three so yeah so list one is uh, okay list one we have called and we went here list two so list two we modified it with this new value so which is inside the function is okay it should be this and then we are printing okay uh, let's not do it this way how, I, how about if I you know let's make let's keep the reference list to everywhere right fine so we will not return anything we will try to we call it the same everywhere list 2 should be everywhere fine so yeah so this is my list 2 and we are calling it list 2 as a reference we, we modified that reference inside and then we are trying to print that list now see what is happening so if I execute it now you see what is happening here this is really important to understand to to understand the difference between uh, call by value and call by reference so here uh, you see uh, I, I created a list one two three I'm calling that list so I, I am uh, okay now I'm I'm, I'm changing I'm creating a new reference to the list two and we I'm printing it so inside the function it is printing the new value 23 45 56 but when I come out of the function and we and I try to print the value list 2 it is giving me the old value right so what does it mean I think it's it's really understand really uh, important to understand uh, the call by reference you know uh, because uh, when we are calling the function with the reference and when we are defining a new reference inside the function so this becomes local to the function so list 2 which we are defining it's a new reference we are defining so it becomes local to this function my list so in the inside the list it is printing this local value and we, when we go out and print, print the same list so this is not referring to the list which is inside the function this is refer, uh, referring to the outside list value so it is printing the previous value so the conclusion is if you are calling a function with a reference and if you are trying to create a new reference inside the function that that reference becomes local to the function and it will print that value in locally but when we come out of that function it is printing the the previous value okay so this is how the, the difference can be understood okay so this was call by reference again again if you want to do I call the value so we which we already understood before right so I am passing a value here and I am trying to access that value inside which is okay which we already discussed so that's all uh, as I wanted to uh, 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 make it clear to you all uh, to, to differentiate uh, the call by value and call by reference so this is a very small program but this can really help you uh, to create large programs um, so my the purpose was to understand the difference between call by value and call by reference. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you all.